The other day I sat down to browse the free to play section on Steam and found this game called Lost Light. The internet described the game as this escape from Tarkov mobile game that had been ported to PC. Sounds absolutely horrible. It even has mixed reviews on Steam. It all just sounds like a recipe for disaster and yet for some reason I decided to try it. Now here I am a few days later with more hours sunk into this game than I'm proud to admit. For some reason the hours just flew by while I was playing Lost Light. In raid after raid I mowed down bots that had worse aim than even the best stormtrooper. And with each one of those raids I liked the game more. Now let me just pause for a minute to explain what the game is about. The game is an extraction shooter, much in the style of Escape from Tarkov and The Cycle Frontier. Unlike those two, it's played in third person, but follows the general features of the genre. You choose a loadout, you load into a game, collect loot, kill or be killed, and then you extract. If you die, you lose everything you had with you, but if you manage to extract, you get to keep everything you found. In between matches, you manage your stash and upgrade your hideout to unlock permanent upgrades and better stuff. This is all done on a horrible UI. One thing I really like is how the game has a pretty natural and linear progression system. You'll get the hang of the game through a series of bot matches that teaches you the basics. Once you played your share of those and unlocked better guns, attachments and armors, you get matched against players that you'll actually have a chance against seeing as you've been able to practice on these dummy bots. They also went and named these bots which is a really weird touch. It becomes kind of personal when you have to run over and not only execute a random bot, but one named Bobby at that. Poor little Bobby. <laughs> The game does hold your hand quite a bit though, seeing as when you're doing quests you don't really get a chance to explore much. Instead you're just guided to your objective by the screen trail. That's one thing I didn't really like much. Oh, and the UI is absolutely terrible as well. What is this, a mobile game or something? It's also worth mentioning that this game isn't really a mechanical masterpiece. Animations are pretty static and the graphics are pretty mid. It is however fun to play. Collecting loot, engaging in PvP and upgrading your hideout does give a sense of satisfaction and while the game can be unforgiving, you'll live more than you die. I was also quite surprised at how the game didn't try and stuff microtransactions down my throat. Mobile games are usually littered with endless pop-ups of buy this and buy that and speed up this with gems and all that doo doo. Games are definitely more enjoyable when they don't make you feel like you're nothing but a money printer for them and so far Lost Light hasn't given me that feeling. It might still come though. One of the strategies these games often utilize to make us spend money is to give us a lot of free stuff and fast progression early on, only to take it to a halt and make you feel like you're standing still if you don't spend money. The longer they have you playing before that phase hits, the more likely you are to spend money on the game seeing as you've already invested so many hours into it. This is the reason why I'm always suspicious of mobile games. While this game might be a bit better than some of its counterparts, it surely ain't no saint. They definitely want your money, so I'm gonna rant about that for a bit. Contrary to my earlier point, the game does throw a pop-up into your face, albeit only once. At least so far. They want to give you this exclusive skin if you do a first-time premium currency top-up. If you press go, you're taken to the top-up screen, where you're given several options. While they of course hope that you'll choose the bigger packages, what's really gonna grab your attention here is this small $1 pack. Perfect! You can get some premium currency and a free skin for only $1. This is where they get you though, seeing as there is nothing in the game that actually costs 60 or less of whatever this premium currency is called. If you ever want to spend this, you're gonna have to come back for more. Another thing that riled me up was how they tried to get you with the battle pass. The game has two 120 level battle passes, one free and one premium. You get gear, money and convenience from both. But the premium pass has more and better stuff, so of course you're tempted to get it. Now, if you click to upgrade it, you're given two choices. Companion Plus is just a premium battle pass, while the advanced version gives you a 30 level head start. If you go to buy the standard version, the game recommends a top-up package with more than double the premium currency than you actually need, for $30. If you try to change this, you'll see there's no option between a 680 pack for $10 and a 1980 pack for $30. There should have been a $15 pack in between here. You can of course combine the $5 and $10 packages to get what you need, but it's just less convenient and not everyone might think along those lines. And now that it tricked you into buying the 980 pack, you might as well get the advanced version of the battle pass, which is a win for them seeing as you'll be left with less premium currency after the fact. There is also a premium subscription that will make your life easier. It speeds up some timers and gives you extra slots to sell your items on the black market and some other conveniences. There's the alpha version with one set of privileges and the beta version with another set of privileges. 
You can get the Alpha Premium for $5, but if you want the Beta Premium, you'll have to also get the Alpha Premium. Don't worry though, they'll slice off a whole dollar if you get them both. What a steal. There is also a cosmetic shop, but who cares? Rant over. While some might argue that getting gear and all of these conveniences might be pay to win, I personally disagree. Having better gear doesn't make you win in a game like this. The bots already aren't able to kill you even in class 1 armor and if you want to kill players, you'll still have to outplay them. And if you die with your premium battle pass gear, it's up for grabs to whoever killed you. That's gonna have to suck considering you paid for it. While this rant might sound bad, it really isn't as bad as it looks. The game is perfectly playable without paying anything, as long as you're fine with a somewhat slower progression than the whales. And you don't mind looking like the default skin. Lost Light has definitely been my positive surprise of the week. It just comes to show how far mobile gaming has come in terms of quality. If you want to play a decent extraction shooter with a horrible UI and dumb dumb bots, then this is the game for you. It's also perfect if you want to spend money on completely unnecessary stuff. I know I won't, but I do know that I'll keep on playing this game. Go check out Lost Light today, and I'll see you in the exclusion zone. Leave a like if you're cool and subscribe to the channel for more content like this related to free to play gaming. If you're curious about more extraction shooters then check out my video about the Cycler Frontier as well. You'll find it up here. This was Totally Free Gaming and I'll see you in the next one.